I'd like to introduce you all to Mathematic Tacto. I'll take you back to a night and how it was invented. So my brain's buzzing, new ways to try to do tic-tac-toe. It's a pretty boring game if you've got two thinking people that will always end in a draw. So I decided to make a new version and this is sort of how it happened. Hey, hey, wake up, wake up. Are you serious, mate? It's three in the morning. What are you doing? Nah, I just had a really cool idea. It's tic-tac-toe, but with numbers. Nah, not interested. But seriously, it's really cool. Nah, don't care. Now here's how it works. You've got the numbers one through nine and you can put them in these places once each and the aim for the attacker is to get a total of 15. The aim for the defender is to stop that from happening. So the attacker wins the game if any three numbers in a row add to 15 and the defender wins the game if all nine numbers end up in there but none of the rows, columns or diagonals add to 15. Yeah, but I'm tired. I just don't want to. Look, I'll go first. I'll take a number, and either the attacker or the defender can start, but um, I'll be the attacker, and I'll put a three here to start with. Can you stop it already? Just pick a number. Fine, I'll just put a seven here. Oh, don't do that, otherwise I'm just gonna put the five there and win. Have another go. Fine, I'll put the six there instead. Oh, nice, you've stopped me from winning because I need a six to go there to win. Nine plus six, 15. Oh, good move. It was an accident. Can we go back to sleep? Now, nah, my turn. Uh, let's see. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna put a seven down there and set up a two-way win. Dad used to do this to us all the time, hey? He'd set up the sort of the owl of death, like this, and it'd be our turn, and it, we just sort of, we didn't like losing, so bad sport that we were, put a big circle in there, and yeah, so I think I've done that to you. Oh, hang on, I can actually block you with one move. No, you can't. No, seriously, I can. Can you see it? I'll give you a moment. So, he needs either a five here or a two here to win. But with one move, I can block that by placing the number he needs here up here. So now, can't put a two in there or a five in there. Not bad. Oh, look, I'm feeling a bit tired now myself. Come on, brain, you can't do that to me now. All right, then. I guess since the two's useless, I'll just put it down here. Well, I guess if I can blow these out and make them too high, then you're cooked. So if I put that there, whatever you do is gonna make that more than 15. And here is already more than 15. You can't win that way. You need a seven there. Have you got anything else that adds to 10? No, nah, I think I might have won. You're probably right. Yep, if I put the eight here, you got nothing. Good thing it was best out of three. So just confirming I did win? Yes, but like I said, it's best out of three. Come on, brain, you always do this to me. Come on, we have to play again. Nah, too bad, I beat you and I was half asleep. You're just scared I'll beat you next time. No, I'm just scared about teaching 100 kids tomorrow and no sleep. This is such a great low floor, high ceiling activity. Because you can engage people who need to work on their addition facts, and you can engage nerds like me who will play this game against themselves at night. Me and a mate have coded a robot to play against, so that's freely available online. You can click the link in the description to play against that. And this activity is so rich, I've spent ages putting together a set of activities for teachers, a PDF document. So there's rule changes, there's uh, probability questions, algebra questions. All of this comes out of this game. And so there's about 30 activities you can do there. If you email andrew at thinksquare.com.au, I'll send that to you. Enjoy the game.